Hi, I'm Ben from Foodists. And I'm Mark. We're here today at one of our favorite restaurants, Hapa Izakaya's brand new restaurant, Hapa Umi. We are. Now, in Vancouver, which is very well known for its sushi, that would be typical of the kind of food you would expect from a high-end Japanese mm. sushi experience. And that's delicious, don't get me wrong. But there have been changes and shifts in the Japanese food trends. For instance, a number of years ago, Izakaya has arrived in Vancouver. Hapa Izakaya was one of the originators of that. We're sitting here with Justin, the owner of Hapa Izakaya and now Hapa Umi, which is very exciting. Thanks for having us, Justin. Thanks, Thanks for letting John. us take a sneak peek at the restaurant two weeks before it even opens. What a treat. Thank you very much. What is Hapa Umi? Hapa Umi would be sort of the next stage in our development as, as a restaurant. Uh, izakayas are supposed to be fun, cheap right, and cheerful right. places. We do want to be fun here also, but um, raising the bar a couple notches in, in terms of uh, uh, the food that we're presenting. We've got some incredibly talented, passionate people in the kitchen who we'd love to give an opportunity to just be able to yeah. sort of spread their creative wings. I see some action over there in the kitchen right now with the chefs. Can we go over there and check it out? Absolutely. What does umi mean? Umi means ocean. It's the word in Japanese for ocean. Um, being that we're very close to the ocean, um, just changing the concept, uh, taking it away from the izakaya. Uh, we'll be featuring appetizers and main courses uh, as opposed to a family style sharing concept. How do you balance out um, what you guys want to prepare, like what the imagination that you have in, in, the, in the inventiveness of the things that you're preparing with sustainability, because that's a really hot topic right now in terms of you know serving things from the ocean. Absolutely, yeah. Sustainability is huge. Uh, we'll be we'll be only using only local products, uh, only sustainable products, and using it to the best of our ability. So it's very important. And to it'll be very seafood forward. forward. That's yes. the idea with the the moving. There's a lot of things happening back here. I think we should go check it what, out. What's in the oven? Us. What's in the oven? Yeah, what was that? What we saw something go uh, in there. We were just roasting off some pork belly for staff meal. Are we part of the staff today? Staff Absolutely. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're preparing some broiled wild spring salmon from the Queen Charlotte Islands with a little bit of miso hollandaise. Oh, and so, yeah, that sounds great. Some butter yeah. sauteed Show vegetables. Us. Yeah. Salmon goes under the broiler. Ben, do you want to saute the vegetables? Love to. Sure. Thank you. So I'm, I'm putting some butter so into the pan. Butter goes in. And some shallots, green beans, asparagus, carrot, carrot. turnip, sure. and some Brussels sprouts. Now the vegetables are done. Now what are we going to do with these? We're going to finish off the salmon, then we'll get right into the plating. Very good. As much as the food is absolutely delicious at the Hapa iz Izakayas. This has a refinement and an elegance that's quite exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. This that's it? gorgeous. That's it. This is it. Have a look at that. This is uh, broiled spring salmon with miso hollandaise and turned vegetables. Let's try. Let's, let's have a taste. Mm. Amazing. It's okay. great. It's terrific. Well, let's see what's up in the sushi department. Let's do it. All right. So now we're with Tetsuya who's one of the new chefs coming to Hapa Umi. He's bringing a bit of a unique perspective and spin to the team. Tell us a little bit of, of your vision. What, what are you going to bring to the sushi aspect here? Uh, well, uh, Japanese food is uh, art, high-end and fancy and elegant. Elegant, artistic, high-end, sounds amazing. Mix that with all the great aspects of the Hapa Izakaya brand. You have a winner. Well, show us a little bit what you're doing. You're doing just a simple uh, uh, sushi nigiri preparation, style. Yeah. nigiri style, yeah. and that's hamachi. Yeah. You'd think that you just ball up some rice and throw oh. a piece of fish on it, but there's more to it than that. Do you? Uh, are you a dipper? Do you? What do you think about mixing wasabi into soy sauce? That's kind of a controversial thing, right? Uh, up to you if you like uh, lots of wasabi. So if I come here and I pay a premium for beautiful sushi yeah. at Hapa Umi, and I mix my wasabi into a bowl. I'm not uh, going to be judged. No one's going to be upset with you. Uh, I don't <laughs> mind, actually. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> there you go. He's not going to give you any. Not going to give you any. Doesn't okay. matter. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Beautiful. That looks gorgeous. Thank you. Sir? All right. Cheers. 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 What would you say instead of cheers? Kampai. 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 Japanese food doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. What thank you, right Tetsuya. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck. Uh, thank you for showing us and welcome us into your kitchen. Let's go and have a drink and check out, check out the bar. Let's do it.
we had, we had fun. We got we just got fed. It was fabulous. We got a, a, a little bit of a taste of what's to come, and uh, it's going to be exciting. I'm excited. I'm it's thirsty. Very thirsty now. Um, we're in the right place. I think yeah. we are. So we're here with Chris, the bar manager at Hapa Umi and the Hapa Izakaya chain. I'm curious. Like what? Yeah, I'm here. I'm eating this really fabulous food. It's it's distinctive. I know that there's sometimes there's a lot of challenges in pairing you know, spirits and wines with with sushi in particular. Yeah. What would I have here? What's unique? What what am I what am I going to get served when I say uh, you know uh, help me out? Well, uh, generally we like to keep uh, a lot of our flavors fresh and crisp. Uh, you know, goes. Nice, clean, simple flavors, but uh, something we've been working on for a little bit uh, is kind of refining a favorite. Uh, it's called the pear sake tini. I'm seeing uh, pear sake. Pear flavored vodka. Now got a shiso a leaf there. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a oh my little God. smell off that. Oh, it's like a oh pear God. orchard. Yeah, I love this one. Did you say pear, pear orchard? Orchard. Oh, I thought <laughs> you said orgasm. Yeah, pear orgasm, pear orchard, similar. <laughs> Kampai. 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 This could cause trouble. It could. Yeah. And it this has. This could cause You know what, I'm, real... I'm tasting, like, if I came here and I started with this, I'd be, I'd want sushi. Right. Yeah. Let's try to make our own. Yeah. Let's try to make our own. You make me something? Can I, can I have a go? Have a huh? It's a bit of a fantasy of mine, always been. I, I want to make my own drink. What's that? It is a uh, Japanese soda. I like the sound of that. Shoju? This is shochu. Japanese styled. Uh, vodka. vodka. Okay, I'm gonna go with a little. There we go. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Woo. There we go. Okay. This is gonna be dangerous. You're gonna have to drink some of this. Okay. A lot of shaking. All right. The pear orgasm. I think. You be, you do the honors. You're the expert. How do we do? Really? It's um. Oh, it's different. We should probably leave the uh, the drink making and the professional high end Japanese cuisine to the pros. Um, but uh, but you know sometimes the best things just nice and simple. So here we have our Asahi Black. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Come by. Come by. Uh, here. Come by. Have your. Uh, uh, yes. There you go. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> Bye. So from the foodists, this is Mark. And this is Ben. Oh, this is bar manager Chris from Hapa Umi. Until next time, thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to, to the opening. Yeah, me too. I'm hungry, man.